So I wanted to share my experience here real quick. This is just going to be a real quick video. I've only had the ROG Ally for a couple of hours. Just got it set up. I got four of them because I got myself and I got three boys. We all wanted one. And I think I'll be fine with it, but I'm not sure about the kids because, you know, my kids are going from the Nintendo Switch to the ROG Ally. You know, they do a little bit of PC gaming and stuff, but they don't really do anything that requires a lot of customization. I was hoping this could be a good way of getting them into that, you know, looking at it, but just fumbling around with it outside of the box, I have a couple issues. Number one, there's a lot of stuff online about um, the screen not working. The screen has its issues. It's got a lot of dead spots and it's random. So the same spot won't respond in one app, but it'll respond in another app. So hopefully that's a firmware thing and that's something they can figure out. Figure out. Um, switching between windows and stuff, if you have a Bluetooth keyboard set up on it, it seems to be good, but without a Bluetooth keyboard, um, I'm having some issues. Um, the only issue that we've had so far, Steam seems to be, the Steam app seems to work okay. My issue right now is because all my kids have Game Pass Ultimate, so you go into Xbox, and as soon as you're in Xbox, nothing works. You have to use the touch screen for everything, and that's fine. But my big issue here, and maybe if someone sees this video, because I know nobody watches my videos, because I don't really load, load videos, I'm not a YouTuber. Um, sea of Thieves is my son's favorite game. And I was like, well, he has only 512 gigs of, of memory in, in the ROG Ally. If he likes it, and we actually like use this system on the regular, maybe we'll upgrade the hard drive, but right now I wanna play it in cloud. Plays really good, it starts up real good. You know, obviously we have pretty good internet here, so we have gigabit ethernet, or and ethernet, duh, internet and gigabit ethernet. But um, this is Wi-Fi through my Orbi system. So it loads up okay, not the problem. And once it's in the game, Once it's in the game, it seems to be okay. So you can press, press any button, it'll load up the game. I have the volume turned down right now too. The speakers are pretty nice. I, I, I have to say, like some of the reviewers that were talking about the sound on this thing, it does have some pretty decent sound for what it is. Let's see, get out of this. go so here's my big issue with this game as it sits right now well not this game in particular but xbox playing in the cloud so it says in the instructions to hit this for the menu for the xbox then you hit the menu button menu button absolutely not unresponsive if you touch the screen the menu button will show up for a second but you can't ever click on it. It makes it look like you can do something, but you can't. The only way to get this resolved is to basically go launch something else. I mean, you can go in an armory crate and then Steam will come up in a minute. Or oh, Steam's up now, so I can go in and launch Team Fortress 2. So see, it's still playing, it's still kind of playing in the background, the cloud gaming is. So I don't have, a, I don't have the keyboard in this room right now because I was just making this as a quick little, let's look it over type thing. Now 
the Team Fortress 2 also isn't working very well. So I know there's a lot of stuff. So basically, I know there's going to be a lot of people who are big into these handheld devices and they're like, oh man, you just don't know how to do X or whatever. And that's fine. But the problem is, until these things get to a point where people can actually like just go and figure it out, like, like I said, I've only had this thing actually out of the box for maybe an hour. So setting it up wasn't too bad. Yes, there are some videos out there where people talk about how trying to set it up with through Windows, the touchscreen doesn't work. There are there were some issues with that and and it's fine. But honestly, so far love the setup but not impressed with the functionality i'm hoping they can do some updates and figure some stuff out once i get it figured out i'll do another video just to let you guys know what i figured out or if somebody happens across my videos like i said i'm a nobody so i understand that but if somebody happens across one of my videos and they want to leave a comment with some suggestions or some resources to help me get these set up for my kids i'd be grateful so um, this is just a little quick one. Once I get this thing fully set up and figured out, I'll probably do another video just to, for myself and to share out um, what I figured out for the layman's here. I'm good. You know, my thing is servers and, and programming and computers. Handheld gaming, is not, this is a new um, avenue for me other than the Nintendo Switch, but that doesn't really count because that doesn't require any kind of know-how. So I'm going to get LaunchBox running on here because I do that on my computer. I'm really excited about getting LaunchBox on here and doing all my emulation on here. That's mainly what I wanted it for. So once I get that going, I'll do another video. So see ya.